Hello, this is Sean, and I want to tell you about one of the projects I'm working on right now. This is ET, and I always forget to tell, um, sort, of, sort of showing a work in progress of how I'm doing this. So I wanted to show this so I can kind of keep a, a record of how I create these things. Um, so first of all, I got a new piece for ET, and so I'm going to kind of explain what how he is right now. Um, at the moment, you can see that this is a boat spotlight where the lens has been taken out. And I have a structure right here. This is a styrofoam I got from a battery delivery. And I sort of shaped it to be uh, the shape of E.T.'s head. Now, I don't want to cause any childhood trauma here, so I apologize in advance. Take the kids out of the room, but E.T.'s head is sitting over here. I have torn it off so that I can work on the electronics. But when I put it back over the structure, it kind of keeps its place. So this, you can see inside of the spotlight, these are the controls inside of the spotlight to allow it to go left and right and up and down. Over here, I have the spotlight controls. So if I change the arrows and move them, you can see left, right, tilt up and tilt down. So that's how I get ET to move. But he also has a neck extension, but the neck ex extension is a mechanical gas shock. So the gas shock is located right inside of this um, seat post right here. And it's about a 30 pound gas shock and it's hooked to a, a pulley system that connects to the outside of the basket right here. Now it was always a bit of a chore and a bit clunky to uh, get his neck to extend because what I'd have to do is release this, uh, this is for a boat, for a sailboat, um, a chock to hold uh, the uh, rope in place, but I can release it by pulling up on here. This is actually an outboard motor um, end that I put on here. But if I pull it, and then I show you E.T.'s head, his neck extends, which is neat. However, I wanted it to be more electronic. So what I did is I got a linear actuator. This is actually uh, more of a electronic version of the mechanical gas shock so that I can have it move up and down electronically by a switch. So eventually I'm gonna have all these switches connected to an Arduino board. And the Arduino board will allow it to, um, I can program in movements so I don't have to constantly be fiddling with the controls over here. And the sounds will also be built in. You can see that his hands are here and he also has a heart light in the front. So if I change the spotlight or floodlight, spotlight turns on his finger and the heart light turns on his heart. So that will be the floodlight setting. So um, the stereo has speakers inside of here so I can make voice and music come through but that's generally how he works. And now I'm gonna add just a little more functionality. So I wanted to give an update of how this thing works and uh, work in progress so that you can see um, when he's a finished product, uh, what I went through to get him to be there. So anyway, thank you for watching, bye bye.